Hey guys, Big John with J Custom Builds. Happy Saturday, I hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. If you're new to my channel, my name is Big John. I build Harleys and I'm doing uh, Harley giveaways. Right now I'm currently giving away two bikes, 2009 Ultra Classic, 2010 Street Glide. If you are interested in winning one of these beautiful bikes, head over to my website right now, jcustombuilds.com. Purchase yourself a hat or a t-shirt and that will be your automatic entry into the giveaway. Other than that, let's get started on this video. Hey guys, how you doing? Big John with J Custom Build. So I'm gonna be starting a new project here. Picked up the bike on Christmas day and I'm gonna get ready to uh, change out the, uh, the front forks, the wheels, front and back wheel. These tires are new, he wants to keep them, but they are six, seven years old. I'm gonna have to really relay that to him. He might have to get some new tires and I'm gonna change the, uh, the riser or I might just have that riser powder coated black because I'm having trouble finding that exact one. He likes it a lot. Anyways, I'm going to change out those bars and everything too. So uh, let's get started. Get this fender covered. I know he has a windshield. I just didn't see the windshield. So clean all this stuff up for him as well. Put all his parts in that box. Let's get pressed up against this so it doesn't fall. Hey, get away from that, you little thief. All right, so let's get a Phillips screwdriver and take that off. All right, that in there, that too. So right now I'm taking the headlight off. You gotta lift these little tabs up on each side. Be careful though. You don't wanna break them. You wanna pinch them, actually. Now let me put this over here. These are T27s. I got my nosy little dog right here. My nosy little pup. And there's an actual switch in here. I'm just gonna let that rest right there. I'm gonna put all the chrome pieces in a separate box because I don't want those to uh, get all scratched up. These are the old uh, collagen and I'm going to put some LEDs on there for them. A little dog's hilarious, man. He's like, I'm not gonna move, daddy. He's all, you're gonna have to move. There we go. Now, before I take this off, I wanna see what's connected to what. So I'm gonna move you guys. There. You're so cute, Leo. He's so cute, guys. He just sits here and watches me work. He watches me do everything over here. So be careful, like I said before, when you start cutting stuff, gotta be super, super, super careful. Leo, you gotta, you gotta let me buy, buddy. You can't be blocking me like that, buddy.
I might have to lift the tank up because a lot of the stuff I need down here is rubber seal out of the way. Clean these up too. Put these down here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Come on, baby. That's still plugged in. Oh, yeah. Unplug this. There. All right. These forks are going to be ready to be taken out pretty soon. Man, they're pretty rusty too. I'll loosen these up really quick. I could, you know, I could take those bars off. I think I will. You can actually see everything that I'm going to do right there. So right now I'm actually going to take these grips off. Let's take those mirrors off first. The nut on the bottom of the mirrors is always going to be a half inch, unless on the stock mirrors. They could be different on the other mirrors. These mirrors still might be good. They might clean up. It's just the nuts that are completely rusted. You see that? It's because you had the bike out in the rain. These cables are a little rusted too, but they're not too bad. Now you also want to make sure that you take your, uh, you disconnect or you take your Disconnect your battery. But since I'm doing a, a job like this, I took the battery out. So I'm gonna take the clutch and everything off of here. I'm gonna put new grips on here for them. Now that is a T25. So the ones on the clamshell, those are uh, T27s the bigger ones and then the ones on the actual shell itself this is the, the clamp it's a t25 yeah man i can't wait to can't wait to get this bike back to him the way he wants it keep all this stuff together this here I'll put these little screws back in here you know, I learned the hard way, guys. I didn't always do this, but if you're going to uh, take stuff apart, make sure you bag and tag everything. I'm putting all the uh, screws in the clams and in the, the actual brackets because I don't want to uh, F that up. So again, the big ones, these two right here on these on the clamp on the uh brake reservoir these are t27s i always pull one off make sure you hang on to the washer and let me take this uh this clam apart really quick too here because i'm going to need to disconnect those cables there's one on the top and there's one on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to have to peel these back because I'm going to have to take these little barrels out of here really quick. And I need to bring this up. Okay, these are all rusted right here. 
there's a real small, I think it's a 5 16ths and a 5 16ths. And I'm gonna have to loosen those nuts up so I could get these little barrels out so I could put the new grips in there. Now I believe they're 5 16ths, I could be wrong. It's been about four years since I, yeah, they're bigger than that, I can already tell. I don't think they're 3 8 but I could be wrong. Yep, 3 8 -ths. So all you wanna do is hold one down. Should have put a little bit of lube on here. And you just loosen this up, down like that. And then you're going to spin this one out to loosen it up so that you can get that out. So let's see here. You wanna loosen it enough to be able to, no, it's not loosened up all the way. You might have to turn them all the way. So there's a little tension on that one. So let me turn the other one out. Let me loosen this one first. I might have to change these lines for him, man. I mean, they're, they're rusty as can be, but they still work. Yeah, I don't even want to turn. Let me shoot some lube in there really quick. You might want to just move it back and forth a little bit. Man, this thing has been in the, in the rain for years does not want to even spin. So what I did is I shot some uh, deep creep. It's called deep creep. And you get a little bit of that inside of there. And uh, give it a second to settle in. Work it back and forth just to get it loose, like so. And then it's, there it is, it's already loosening up. So I'm spinning these back, right? Because I want it to go all the way down the threads, see the threads? I want it to go all the way down to here, to where you don't see the threads anymore. And what that's doing is that's actually loosening up. So there we go. So you tilt this back, you move that out, and you grab this, see this little barrel right here? You grab that little barrel like so, and you don't lose it. And then this one here has got a little bit of pressure on it. So you want to grab it. You want to grab it like here with some needle nose pliers, hang on to it, lift it up, pull it out like so, grab that barrel. So they both come off. They should both be the same size. And now you loosen up that last T27 and you hang on to the reservoir and the clamp, because you don't want to drop the clamp. Move it away from the bike and put this back in there. Grab the other one, make sure the washer's on it. It's that little washer, stick it back in there. Just get a few turns on it, make sure it's still on there. And then I'm gonna swing this down and let this hang down in there. And then this, I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's all rusted in there. You can see that's why it's not coming out. So let's get these uh, let's get these off. Again, we're not using these bars. This could just swing down and stay like that. Now I can actually uh, take off the bar. So before you take off the riser, you want to take these caps off and break these bolts because if you take the riser off, then you're going to be like trying to figure out how to hold it. So it's better to take all these off first, take the bars off, and then the riser, you don't have the bars on there, so you can just take it off and not worry about it. So this grip just comes out. I'm going to get them some new grips. So these are garbage. Man, they're not even tight. <laughs> wow. Well, they were on there really good. I mean, the bolts aren't tight, though. You want to hang on to your bars. You don't want them to swing down. Look, I'm, all the bolts are loose and the bars aren't moving. <laughs> Must be a uh, compressed or something on the inside. 
They were actually in there pretty good. All right. Just makes it a little bit easier to, to hold and not jacking up your hand. Give yourself some leverage. Woo! Sorry, buddy. You okay? Sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. <clears throat> that was close. Scared my little buddy. Sorry, Bubba. I'm a baby. So now I'm gonna loosen up the fork caps. Good. It's better if you do that now. That way you don't have to really do it when you. These are gonna be so, so easy to torque because there's no bars in the way. Let's get all this stuff torqued first. All right, let's take this tire off. Sorry about that guys. I'm actually down there taking off that wheel. Taking the bottom uh, bolts off. Take this uh, shaft out. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave them in there. He's gonna need a new front tire for sure. This one, uh, not that great. Back one's fairly new, but the front one, not so much. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't look too bad. He does not want that back on. Hey guys, <laughs> big John with Jay Custom Bill. So I got a funny story for you. So me dismantling uh, my brother-in-law's 2013 uh, soft tail. That was last, actually last Saturday. Today is actually Sunday, a week later. I was actually uh, working on the fence all week because I had two sections of my fence fall down and 
I had to go ahead and repair them. So anyways, long story short, my wife ended up going to some event with her sister for her sister's uh, kids cheerleading contest. And so we were supposed to meet for dinner at my uh, mom's house, which is like, you know, like a mile away down the road. Anyways, she accidentally uh, closed the sliding door and I don't know if she was, what well, didn't realize that the lever was up. I got locked out of the house. I was out of the house for almost two hours. I put the tools away from the fence, put everything away. I was in the shop. The shop was open, but I could not get in the house, could not take a shower, get ready or anything. So I just chilled in the shop. I actually smoked a cigar, which I've been wanting to do now all week. And that was great. And I actually spent the last 45 minutes working on, uh, on uh, the, the uh, soft tail. So let me show you what I did in that short amount of time. I ended up taking the forks off, which are right here. And I ended up uh, steel wooling the tops because as you could see there, the bike's been outside, like I mentioned before, and they were, they got totally rusted, right? And uh, he's going black. I just need to swap the uh, uppers on the new uh, lowers. And so as I took those off, I took the cowbells off, which are right there. And then I noticed that the, uh, the top of the uh, triple tree, I noticed the bearings were really, really worn. I mean, it didn't have any play. It moved free, but the bearings were absolutely dry. Let me show you. So besides the bearings being super dry, you can see how bad these are in here. And uh, that lower bearing has wear on it, even though it's uh, it appears to still be decent. Um, a lot of shops wouldn't actually change that, but uh, you could see the wear on the actual bearings themselves. So I ordered him a new kit and uh, I ended up cleaning the lower section of the, the uh, triple tree where the actual stem is. And I ended up cleaning everything in here. So I'm gonna get these old bearings out when they get here and put the new, new bearings in. And uh, I still got to remove the uh, highway bar there and uh, some other stuff. But I just wanted to show you guys where I'm at so far. So guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have not entered my uh, current giveaway, my 2009 Ultra Classic and my 2010 Street Glide, they've been built from the ground up. They both run excellent. They're beautiful bikes, fresh paint. Too many parts to actually mention, too many parts to name. Man. $75 can win you one of these bikes. We have 125 spots left, 125 spots left. So if you're interested in winning one of these beautiful, beautiful bikes, head over to jcustombuilds.com, buy yourself a hat, buy yourself a t-shirt, $75 each. I'm hoping to give these bikes away within the next month or two. So man, if you wanna win one of these bikes and have it by March or April, I suggest you enter now. The sooner we get this done, the sooner we can get one of these bikes in your hands. Other than that, thanks for watching. Always remember to ride safe, take care and God bless.